What's up guys? So this video is going to be at Tilapia Catch and Cook. You guys know my last video was um, us out there bow fishing tilapia. So this is going to be a catch and cook part. I am going to throw um, some of the catching parts right now and then we're going to jump right into the cooking. And I'll tell you guys right now that tilapia is some amazing fish and the way I cooked it actually tasted really good. So you guys want to stay tuned because um, some of you guys might want to actually try out that recipe. But right now I'm just feeding my fish. You guys haven't seen the aquarium in a little while. It's looking good. We need to start getting more fish for it. We've had it probably been like maybe two years, I guess. I, I can't even remember. Time flies. Some of the fish are getting big. We got some, well, these are actually called like, called like sharks or something. Everything's starting to get pretty big in here, so it's getting cool. I'm gonna play a little clip of us actually out there bow fishing and show you how we got the tilapia. Then we're gonna jump right into the cooking part. And like I said, it's a really, really good recipe. I actually cook it two different ways to see if it makes a difference. And we have actually surprising results. So you guys definitely wanna stay tuned for that. <laughs> Oh, you got him, you got him. Through the bush. Jeez, holy cow. Oh my god, hold up, let me put my hand next to you. Look at the size of this one. Well, you could say we had a pretty good day today, bow fishing. Five massive tilapia. Look at the size of my hand to that fish. Huge fish, big fish. All right, guys, we're back now. Uh, if you guys watch our last video, you'll see that that was the only tilapia we got on film because Senior was falling around Juju, and it's one of his first time bow fishing. And it's actually very difficult. Bow fishing is extremely difficult. Um, when you first get into it, you're gonna miss a whole lot. So I challenge you guys to go out and try it. Super fun. Tilapia is great eating, so we're gonna go ahead and cook it up right now. I have a feeling it's gonna turn out good. I've tried cooking them like this before, kinda, and it usually turns out amazing. So let's get right into it. And we got some massive, massive tilapia. That was actually super cool. So now I'm gonna cook them. I'm gonna cook it two different ways. Recipes are gonna be slightly different. I'm gonna bake one, and I'm gonna cook one on a pan. I think that's gonna be actually a really cool comparison to see which one tastes better. Um, if you bake it or if you cook it in a pan. Now a lot of times baking super easy because you can just kind of set it in, forget about it for like five, 10 minutes or whatever, and then come get it and it's done. And when you're actually cooking in a pan, you gotta watch it and flip it and stuff. But there's gonna be actually a lemon and tomato involved. That's gonna be pretty much the only difference. And um, we're gonna see. It's been a little bit of time, maybe like two, three days. And uh, we actually fried some the other day and it turned out amazing. This fish can't beat it, can't beat it. So um, I'm actually super excited to see how this turns out. Love cooking fish myself and uh, eating it even more. So we're gonna go ahead and get started here. All I'm gonna need is a cutting board, a little tray, like a cookie sheet or whatever they call these, I'm not even sure. A pan, good old pollo powder, you know, you can't cook without it. Minced garlic, um, we don't have any fresh garlic, so we're gonna have to work with minced garlic. I've got a lemon, I've got a tomato, I've got some Mediterranean sea salt. You could use any salt, I just feel like getting a little fancy, see if this tastes good. Pepper, black pepper, I've got some chili stuff here. This stuff's really hot though, so you don't use a lot of it, but if you like a little bit of spice, add some kind of pepper, chili, something, and then um, butter. And obviously you're gonna need aluminum foil. Looks like a lot right now, but it's actually a very, very simple recipe what I'm gonna be doing. And most of the time it turns out good. Or actually I'll say pretty much 100% of the time it turns out good, but we're gonna go ahead and give it a taste test, start cooking it, and um, we'll see how it turns out. This is where the fish is gonna lay. I'm gonna put my fish fillets here, all my seasonings and everything with it, and then uh, wrap it up, make like a little bundle out of it that's gonna sit on this tray and then go in the oven. So right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and cut up this tomato and uh, cut up some of that lemon. It's gonna go in here. Oh yeah, I'm actually gonna use onion. I completely forgot. I'm also gonna put onion in here also, but um, we're gonna go ahead and slice these up right now. So here's that onion I forgot to mention, but yeah. And also be using a white onion. I just kind of peeled it a little bit. I'm gonna start cutting it right now. So for this tomato, all I'm gonna do is just cut slices like this. Same thing with the onion. Doesn't need to be cut up real fine or fancy or anything. 
just gonna cut rings out of it. That's gonna be placed on and around the fish also. Then this lemon, probably gonna end up using more lemons later on. Get these seeds out of here. And one of the fillets, I'm gonna put some lemon slices on it. See how that turns out. I've never done this while I bake, but I've heard of a lot of people doing this and I've actually seen it done before and it looks really good. A lot of seeds, make sure you knock out the seeds from them. I just decided to change up my plans a little bit. I'm not gonna cook four fillets. I'm only gonna cook two because I don't wanna cook more than what's gonna be eaten right now. And we got two pretty good sized fillets right here um, that are gonna taste amazing. And also we're also gonna be cooking, looks like my mom's cooking sushi for dinner also or something. So. Um, there's going to be plenty of food. I don't want to cook too much. It's not all going to be eaten. We're going to save some more for maybe to be fried later or something. I'm not sure. Maybe cook like this more. But um, this is going to taste amazing. Once again, two nice sized fillets. And uh, we're going to get right to it. I like seasoning fish, especially when I'm going to cook it in a pan while it's dry. So I always get a paper towel. This is something I always do when I cook pretty much almost any meat, including steaks and stuff. Um, get a paper towel and I dry off a lot of the moisture off of it. it. Helps it take to your seasonings a lot better, I've found personally. So that's how that's gonna go. You can finish trimming up your fish right now, whatever stuff you don't want on them, like these extra bits of fat or anything, you know, any extra little scales or something that are still on it, you can wash it off, clean up your fish. On these fillets, you can see there's a nice dark red line right there. Right now, I'm gonna go ahead and trim this out. Pretty simple. I'm just gonna come on this side right here. You can see this red line right here that goes along this fillet. What I'm gonna do is take my knife, go down all the way to the bottom. Don't cut all the way through and then kind of turn your knife and run it along that one. The red doesn't last very long so you don't gotta go for very far. Just do it on both sides. Cut all the way down to the bottom, not all the way through though, and then turn your knife. As you can see here, see how it made a Y? That's exactly what you want, and it's nothing but that red, red bloodline in there. Extremely easy to get rid of. Some people don't take it out. I do, um, occasionally. I won't all the time, but a lot of times this redness right here, when you eat this, it gets uh, a real fishy tasting, and a lot of people don't like eating it. So as you can see, it's gone. All right, I'm self filming right now. That's why this angle keeps coming up, but what I like to do a lot of times with POIL powder to make sure I don't pour too much is I'll pour a little bit in my hand just like this. But I pinch it, put a little light sprinkle over the fish. You don't want to go too heavy on this stuff. Um, it's got pretty good seasonings all in it already, so it doesn't take a whole lot. Just give a nice little light pinch all around the fish. Flip it. Get it again. Nice little light sprinkle. All right, that should be perfect. I like to kind of rub it in also. After that, we're gonna get some of this Mediterranean sea salt. Give it a nice little cracking all over the fish. Once again, real light. You don't wanna to go too heavy on things like salt and stuff because that's one of the biggest killers of when people are cooking fish is they'll make it too salty on accident. And a lot of foods actually. So you wanna go pretty light on salt. Next, I'm gonna go with the black pepper. I'm just gonna go ahead and sprinkle once again, just a nice little light dusting. When you have really good tasting fish, it doesn't even take a lot of seasonings to make it taste good. So if you go too heavy on seasonings, a lot of times you're ruining the taste of your fish. Ground pepper right here, this hot stuff. Now this stuff, um, if you're cooking for people that don't have an extremely high heat tolerance, you wanna keep it easy on really hot stuff, this stuff is super hot, so I don't wanna, if you put too much, it can be pretty bad. So you just put a pretty light dusting and that's all I'm gonna do. I don't wanna do both sides with this because that just gives it just a little bit of a kick that tastes good. Now, we're gonna use minced garlic. Like I said, we don't have fresh garlic because you can always use fresh garlic, but minced garlic always works just fine. Get some of this and just do my best to spread it pretty lightly. That's pretty much all I'm probably gonna need. Go ahead and take this and spread it around. You don't want too much all in one spot, just like everything else. Perfect. So now for this occasion, we're gonna go ahead and use butter. Now, um, if you don't wanna use butter, you can always uh, use like uh, olive oil or something like that, some sort of oil. 
that'll um, replace the butter, but we're gonna go ahead and use butter today. It tastes pretty good when you do cook it with butter. So I just get nice little pinches and I put it all around. I don't like to go very heavy on the butter. I use a little bit because we're also gonna be using other stuff also. Like we're gonna squeeze one of the lemons in here and there'll be plenty of juices in here. So you don't wanna go too heavy on the butter. So now that we got this all set up like that, we're gonna go ahead and lay our, our lemons on top of it. We're gonna lay our tomatoes. Boom, 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 just all around. Doesn't really matter where. And our onions, just all around. Once again, doesn't matter where. So now that you got your whole thing set up, squeeze some lemon juice on and around. And this was a pretty juicy lemon. And now all you do is wrap it. This is how I like to do it. I put it in a little wrap. A lot of times there's a lot more fish. I usually cook more than one filet, but this works for now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and preheat the oven to 425 degrees, and it's gonna cook actually super fast. To be honest, I probably need to leave it for like five minutes to eight minutes, but I'm gonna go ahead and leave it till I'm just done with this fish. Probably about, yeah, probably about five to 10 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and get this other filet ready, and also the pan ready to cook it on the pan. Same seasonings, same everything, but um, it's gonna be in a pan this time. There goes our fish fillet. I'm gonna lower the heat a little bit, it's getting too hot in there. While that's going, go ahead and spray some lemon juice on your fish fillet. Along with that, I'm gonna go ahead and put some of that minced garlic on top of it. As you can see, it's already starting to cook on the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip it right now. It's been sitting like that for a little bit. Here we go. Let's flip her. There we go. There's our filet, done. All right, so I finally got a cameraman. Juju's behind the camera. Um, it was kind of hard to do all this uh, film by myself, but it's been in here for a little while. I forgot to keep track of time, but I guess probably about seven, eight minutes. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and pull it out now. It's more than done, I guarantee it. We're gonna pull it out and let it cool off for a minute. Unwrap it, make sure it's not hot. Boom, that right there. Smells absolutely amazing. Normally I'll leave it in these juices here because all these juices between all the, the stuff you put in with this fish is great to eat it with. But um, for this occasion, we're gonna go ahead and set them side by side. Gigi's over here crying because he don't like tomatoes or onions. And we're gonna collect these juices. Oh yeah. We're gonna pour it over this fish. You filming this? Wait, are you following my hands or what? I'm filming. Can you see where it's pouring on the little fish? That's the baked one. That's the one cooked in the pan. We're gonna go ahead and do a good old taste test as always and see how they taste. Um, pretty much the exact same recipes, but just cooked two different ways. You can already tell just off looking at them how much of a difference it makes between baking it and cooking it in a pan. So now it comes to the famous time of every catch and cook, the eating part. Okay, so um, here's the two, like we said, looking amazing, looking delicious. It's a lot of lemon, but lemon's good on fish. That's for sure, just a little bit, because there's already a lot of lemon involved. I'm gonna go ahead and taste it. So uh, first off, I'm gonna go ahead and taste this baked one. Boom, bite of the baked. It's just so good. <laughs> That's actually extremely good. Um, to be honest, if you bake fish, a lot of times if you use recipes like this, it just, it's hard to go wrong. Very, very hard to go wrong with it. So now here's the, Pan cooked one. We're gonna give this a good old taste test. Some pan cooked. Oh geez, that one's really good too. <laughs> I was hoping that I can get a clear winner, but this baked one, you can taste a lot of the ingredients more. You can taste more of the lemons, the tomatoes, and everything in it. And it gives it like a really good taste to it. And um, it's a lot softer and stuff. And then this one cooked in the pan, Gives it a little more of like a, I'm trying to find a word. I don't know, it just gives it more of like a grilled taste in a weird way. It tastes more like it was, you, you can pretty much taste that it's been charred right here as you can see how it's all darkened and stuff. So it tastes really good. One of the bonuses though of baking a fish is all the, the tomatoes and stuff you get to put in it. This is for real one of the best parts. So I'm gonna go ahead and walk around, let other people in the house taste it. 
and see what they have to say. Okay, so we got Juju here, yep. known as Crazy Ju on TikTok. So he's gonna go ahead and give the tilapia a good old taste test. I'm about to try and see what all the hype's about. That's the baked one, right? It tastes a little bit dry in the middle, but it's mainly all the flavors on the outside for that one. So dry in the middle. It's pretty it's good. It's probably because we removed it from the juices, but it's pretty sweet. good though. I like it. Good? Let's try this one. I like this one a lot better. The flavor stays in it a lot more. The pan one? It, like Adrian was saying earlier, kind of has that grill taste to it. And it also has that real strong, like the flavor is just really good. It's not too much, not too little. It's really good. I like it. So which one do you like more? Obviously like the grilled. What is it? Of, uh, one to ten grilled. Maybe like an eight or a nine. Eight or nine. It's not the best thing that you've ever eaten that I've cooked, but it's not the worst by far. It's not the worst. Though. What about that one? This one's probably like a six or seven. Six or seven? You don't like it that much? Uh, okay, Juju's yeah, a fried food guy. One more time. Juju's a fried food guy. If I had a fried, he'd been in love. No. <laughs> I like the fried better. You like the pan one better? Yeah. Okay. I like this Sweet. one better. Awesome for your input. I'm going to go ask Senior really quick. One was cooked on a pan and one was cooked in the oven. It's tilapia? Yeah, both tilapia. So you're going to give us a taste test. Juju liked that one more than the other one. I like them both. Mom likes them both. That one's pretty delicious. It's pretty good. That's and this a, one was what? In the uh, oven. Baked. Mm. The flavoring is really good. But this one seems like a little bit more dry on the inside. Dry? That's what Juju said. I think I cooked it too long. It's a tiny bit more dry. But this one's nice and juicy. I think I think the problem was is that I cooked that one too long because that's only one fillet and I still had it super hot and that one was in the pan so that one ended up sitting in the oven just a little bit too long I think that's what made it dry yeah but overall pretty delicious check it out we're uh, editing here this is the actual video behind the scenes yep behind the scenes of the edit <laughs> I work on it a little bit Adrian works on it we try to get it done but yeah, delicious tilapia. Awesome. One of one of my favorite. It really is. Awesome. It's up there next to crappie. Like it's pretty good. Mhm. Mm so out of yeah. one to ten, what would you rate the two? Um, this one right here, I'd give it about an eight. Be just because it has that tiny bit of dryness, and I know how good you can cook that. This one, I'd give about a nine. Yeah. You get a little more of like a grilled taste in a weird way yeah. from that one, huh? The, pretty dang one, good. Yeah. It's delicious though. Awesome. Can't complain. Delicious. Alright, thank you. Mm -hmm. Both fish actually turned out really good. Both recipes. I highly recommend you guys try them. But if you do bake it, make sure you don't bake it too long. Now the problem was because it was only one fillet, usually I cook a bunch, so I'm used to leaving it in there like 10 minutes or so. Um, that one, I would say probably even just five minutes or, or like four or five minutes. It cooks extremely fast since it's only one little fillet. And obviously the more you put in, the little bit longer it's gonna take. So um, that's why it's a little bit dry is because I think I overcooked it just a tad bit. It took a little bit longer than I thought. And um, that's how it goes sometimes. You live and you learn. But um, still, normally that recipe, if you cook it just right, is amazing. But um, Obviously, everybody liked the pan one a little bit better. Juju did. I personally got to say I like it just a little bit better because I like that little bit of like a grilled taste to it. And um, yeah, so other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, go ahead and drop a like, please. It really, we really appreciate it here. The crew from Sin City Outdoors, Juju Sr. and I. And um, yeah, we'll have some more videos coming out to you guys soon. We actually went and caught a bunch of bluegill. Those bluegill, we're also going to do a catch and cook on them. Um, we're gonna see what we're gonna do with those. Bluegill turn out amazing also. I made some bluegill sandwiches a while ago. Amazing. Some of the best fish sandwiches I've ever eaten. But other than that, like I said, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, we got a lot more content coming to you guys soon. It's not ending. And um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you outdoors. <coughs>